Hey guys, it's me, Vix Only 3, and welcome to the third installment of Unique Impact Obstacle Course, one of my favorite parkour map series. It's uh, pretty simple. If you haven't seen the videos for the first two maps, make sure you check them out. Anyway, on the map, the aim is to get to the end as quickly as possible. There are 50 unique obstacles along the way. You've got to be as fast as possible. You get a gold block for checkpoints. And uh, what is new here? is that uh, you have a skip level snowball to skip level, but it costs two minutes. And uh, there's the basic rules. We know all of those. They're, they're standard parkour rules. So his time was 21 minutes, 7 seconds with 38 deaths. That's what I'm going to aim to beat right here. I'd like to think that I'm going to be familiar with a lot of the types of obstacles. So we'll see what there is, but I guess there's always unique stuff, and that's what I love about these maps. So without talking too much about it, I'm going to give it a go. And you guys can watch, see how I do, and then you can download it yourself, link down below. Give it a go yourself, let me know what scores you get. Hopefully you should be able to do a little bit better, because you'll know the obstacles once this is done, but you're going to see me encountering them. Let's do this. Okay, um, I don't even know what that said, but um, we're, we're going fast. We always have to go fast. Okay, we've got head in the clouds. We've got easy route, hard route. Honestly, taking the easy route right here. That's what I figured from the last one is a lot of the time, if the easy route doesn't look like it's going to take forever, nature's touch. Uh, if it doesn't look, yeah, this is the one. If it doesn't look like it's going to take, um, you know, much longer, then I'll go for it. Okay, cool. Temple in the sky. What have we here? Okay, we've got a bunch of colors. Um, don't know the code, try looking around the temple. Door automatically opens. You've got light blue carpet, blue and grey. These change. No. Um, look around the temple. Around the temple. Five, six, seven. Hold up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Orange, blue, grey, purple. Let's see how that works. Orange, then blue. Then grey, then purple. I guess I do the other four. Um, red, yellow, pink, green. Let's see if this works. Red, then yellow, then pink, then green. Let's see if this if this works. I don't see any other hint. So let's see. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. We're through the temple. That made a lot of sense. Here we have death dodge. Okay. So we got anvils. We got arrows shooting in the gaps. Um, Oh, damn. Yeah, so I should wait until as soon as I hear the arrow fire. That's when I should go for it. Okay. After being kind of killed once, it throws me off. Fallen monuments. I like these fallen monuments. They make nice little paths for me to run around. Here we go. A little bit risky trying to jump diagonal on that chain there. Crumbling ruins. Danger floor. Unstable. Stop moving and jumping. Reset level. Aha! A little bit of the old TNT run. What isn't as bad as the uh, last one? Sky Fortress viewing platform. What have we here? I guess this is a maze we need to like get through. I feel like we want to go down to this side and through around that way, maybe. Let's see. Okay, so this seems promising. I guess I want to go this way. Is it around here? No. Do we go... Back around, I think, down here. Yeah, okay, we're out. There we go. The viewing platform is that useful. Uh, jumping blocks. Familiar with these. Oh my god, it's a pirate ship. That is super cool. That is super cool indeed. Here we go. Here be Skyrus. I get it, because they're pirates in the sky. Ah, oh, the puns. That too. Yara, go to the captain's cabin and grab a pickaxe. Um, all the chests in here are empty. You know what? I'll take the map's word for that. What's that diamond block about? Am I meant to do something there? Um, Alright, Captain's Cabin. Here we go. Um, take a pick and mine all the diamond blocks. Yar, press this button when you've mined all the diamonds. Okay, All right, we can do that. We can do that. I see there were two down below. There's one at the end of the plank. Walk the plank for that one. There were two downstairs. What do we reckon there's one on, like, the... Uh, Wait, where was the downstairs here it was? I reckon there's one on top of the uh, crow's nest as well. I just get that feeling. I don't know. Do we check? You know what? I won't check. Just in case there isn't one there. I will. Is there one? Have we checked this deck as well? Let's see. Aha, there's one up here. 
I didn't see one up there. Let's just try and press the button. Hopefully it doesn't like reset if this is wrong. Let's see. You call that thieving? There will still be treasure left. Okay, yeah, it must be up here. The only place you haven't checked. But I guess, in a way, it would have been faster to do that and then come and check up here because it takes a bit of time. Oh, there we go. Hold up. I'm going to get up here so I can drop down quickly. There we go. Nearly died. Are we done? And there we go. I've made a bridge for you at the front of the ship. Okay, yeah. This... Ooh, what are these? You got the cannonballs on deck. Okay, caught in the crossfire. Yeah, literally that was me caught in the crossfire. Okay, just got to time it all. Oh, everything aligned there. Skyrut run. Green, yeah, I know this gives me a speed boost. I can jump over there. We've got the jump boost to combine up. Right, nice. There's a little shortcut there that we found. That's what I love about these maps as well, is they have all of these kind of little shortcuts that you can take if you're feeling brave enough. Raft riders. Oh, okay, this is literally a raft. Makes sense. I was like, where is the raft? I was expecting boats to spawn, and that was a pretty difficult boat level in the previous maps. You know, I don't even need to wait for it then. I do here. So many, literally, so many cool elements of Minecraft that get brought into these maps and cool kind of 1.8 things. Ah, here we go. This is the one I was thinking of. Okay, here we go. Don't blow me up. Do I have to avoid those? Let's see. Move slower by only tapping the forwards key. Ah, which means you don't break your bow. And I think it gives you a little more control over the angles. That's pretty cool, actually. I did not know that. Oh, I thought I was going to break my boat then. That's actually a really cool tip. There we go. I did not know that. I think that has actually saved me some time. I think I chose the right path as well, unless there are two. Okay, let's get all the way out of here and jump out the floor. Walk the plank. Ooh, is this a... That was a little shortcut, although I don't think it saved me much time by the time I'd gone back and gone to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting with these ones. You don't know whether to take them or not. Lab rat. How does this work? Okay, don't yet. Yeah, don't stand on the red. That would make sense. Okay, just follow the path here. Nice little block there. Do I jump here? Okay, I think... Oh, wait, so there's actually, like, hidden sticks in chests throughout the map. I think that jump boost is to get to those. But I think I could actually use it to do a little bit of a shortcut here if I jump. Damn it, I need to land not diagonally in between that block. Is it? Is this a smart idea or not? I don't know. Maybe I should just try and run it normally. Let's try and run it normally. Let's forget that jump boost. Let's, uh, because that's definitely made for getting back up there. But yeah, there's always so many cool kind of, I say it again, unique, um, unique things in these maps. Yeah, this was probably... This Smarter idea. It's literally, when you get that speed boost, it's like you get taller. The floor is artificial lava. Tip, if you mine the carpet, you get it back automatically. Ah, this is, this is like being a kid again when you, like, place stuff on the floor. Wait, hold up. I could... When you, like, place items on the floor to get across. When the floor is lava. I think this is what I want to be doing. I think this is how it's done. I think I'm just going to go two blocks apart each time just for safety's sake. Just make sure I don't mess up any of these jumps. Before I'm what, jumping from one block to the next. There we go. Nice hollow path. All right. So some of these are clearly marked out. I think this shows you the height that you should be jumping at. Although I'd say this is a fair bit easier than the previous hollow path maps, which is all good. Hardwired. Oh boy, redstone. Okay. So we need to deactivate that, deactivate that, which will allow that to activate and open the door. Okay. Um, so if I power this, no, I want to power this so it locks that, I think. Is that worked? There we go. Oh, wait, no, I, I don't want to lock this. I want to power that. Uh-oh, have I made an error here? Wait, does that unlock it? Uh-oh. We've made an error here. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, can, is there a reset or is it supposed to be all kind of reworkable? Uh-oh, I'm slightly worried here because I want to unblock that. Uh, I need to get that one off as well. I need to power this and power that at the same time. There we go. Okay, so I got one side off, but how do I get this side? Oh, wait, oh, this is unlocked now, so then I power this like that. 
And then lock it. Is that right? Wait, this side's come back on now. Oh, no. Redstone, why you do this? Is that what I do? No, this is not going well. Has that worked? So that's unlocked that, and then we want to power both of those at the same time. Um, wait, what if I just go one, two, three like that? No, I need to power this side. I need to turn that off, and then I need to go through these three, I think. Okay, so let's unlock that. Does that unlock it? Or is it this? Is that on off? Or is it this? I don't power both of those. That's unlocked. Okay, so I think I hit this one and then go one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Why is this not as simple as it should be? So wait. I need to unlock those. When I step on this, that literally powers that. So that one's off. So that's how I turn that off. And then if I just activate these two, so I need to do this one first, and then I need to go and do these two, and I don't touch this one, I don't think. That, and then that and that. No? There, and that and that. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. This is so, so confusing. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to understand, but it's not going well. Just run up and down them randomly. That'll do the trick, not. Oh wait, that's actually good, that's locked there. Now I just want to activate these two. So wait, I want to activate this and this. She'll power that and unlock the door. Yes, oh my gosh, okay. Honestly, got a little caught there for a little bit, but it's all good. We learned it, and there we go. So now when you guys try it, you'll know how to do that. Because I jump over this. There we go. Nice. And here we just jump to the forward. I was honestly panicking then. I was like, can I redstone or not? But we managed it. We managed it. And that's the good thing. That was the challenge. This doesn't seem too bad. I guess I just climb up here. All right. Broken machinery is all good. Ooh, got a bit of jungle run. Got to love a bit of this. Nice, easy parkour in a straight line. We've seen some really interesting stuff. I like that redstone puzzle, actually. The old snakes in the sky standard. I like these, I must say. It's just all about just kind of scanning around and just seeing where you can go up by one block. That's all you need to find. Sometimes you need to turn around. But there we go. We have completed the sky cobras quite nicely. Here we go. Vine swinging, hold shift on vines to not fall off. Oh no, wait, I wasn't, why was I not holding shift? How many deaths do I have? I don't think I have too many. I haven't even checked though. Here we, oh no, so you've got to stay on the far, far side of them. So I've got to stay on this side. And stay on this side. Am I going to make it? I've made it, okay. Vine swinging, not as easy as you would have thought. But I think we're on, we're on a good time. Let's see what we at. We're at 13 minutes and we're halfway through. Actually, on on par for a 26 minute run here. That's not good enough. I want to do it in a round 20. So we need to pick up the pace here. But with a level like that, no trouble. And with a level like this, shouldn't be too bad. Can't be making mistakes now. Jungle of glass. Press button to activate the level. Okay, we've got jungle. That just appeared. So I think we just follow these as they go. I guess this is actually probably one of those kind of race levels, so I need to pick up the pace a bit here. Oh, wait. Okay, now that's all good. Then we go onto this thing here. All right, we need to be quick here. Although jumping on these slabs actually throws me off a little bit. I don't know if I should risk that. Could risk throwing myself off this. Um, one thing I'm also going to do, actually, that I can do in single player is uh, option video settings. VBoss on. Here we go. Did that say back to basics? I think it did. Basic jumps. I can do this. The parkour effect. I think this is the easier route here we're taking. Definitely seems that way. Ooh. And there we go. Nailed it. Almost ran off then. A guiding light. Is this... Okay, no. A guiding light. Oh, the light actually shows the difference between those kill ones and the non-kill ones. 
So that's how you're supposed to use it. Is this the way I want to go? Anyone? Oh, wait, I see light. Watch out for any cheeky ones. Okay, that went quite well. Oh my god, it'd be so cool. Invisibro blocks with buttons on them. Okay, it's on stages like this where there's no, I guess, no major twist that I need to just flawless to make up time. Heggy heroes. Oh, that was an easy level. Okay, well, I think we're making up time. Step ladders. Ladder jump parkour. Nice and easy. Around the circles. Just have that shift key ready. I think we're making up some time here. Oh, don't fall. So we're going this way. If I tried to jump that whole thing and fell, insert bar pun here. These these puns are the best. Bar none. Get it? No. Okay, I'm sorry. That was terrible. That was terrible, but I, I rate the effort. I rate the effort, okay? Oh, I remember book hop. This was kind of difficult last time. It was kind of difficult to work out where you need to go at times, but this seems to be... A fairly explained route. Alright. There we go. Nice. No troubles there. No troubles there. There was one sign I didn't even read. No, your Minecraft. How many needs uh craft piston? Three. Zombies have twenty. Not a real enchantment. Water breathing, that's a potion. There you go. Boom. Sofa jump. So far, so good. These are these are wigs. You have to realistically a lot of the time for the longer jumps have to run to the armrest. Of the sofas just to make sure you don't dip down. Magic, mystery of magic books. Parkour on enchantment tables. I'd say I'm on a good pace as of the last few levels. The redstone definitely got me caught for a bit. But I think if I was to replay this map, obviously that would cut out probably. Oh, it's Preston's level, Cactus Valley. That would probably cut out a good, you know, two minutes of time. So I could almost say I can cut that off my final time because if I was to run it again. I'd probably do all of it a little smoother, but it's fine. Just follow, is this right? Yeah. Just looking forever we can continue upwards. Um, jump across here. Can you make, you could probably make that jump, but I don't want to risk it. Um, Ugh. I barely ever sneeze in videos. That was a rare sneeze in a Vic Star video. There you go. We've got some sort of a temple. Going on down here. Tomb Raider. What does this do? Um, oh my gosh, no, not a baby zombie. Um, okay, so that's where I need to get out. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess I go down here. What do we have here? Ah, can we place on lapis lazuli blocks? Are they just waiting for me? They're, they're smart. Okay. Oh, the baby zombie. Of all the bad things in the world. Where is he? I don't even know. I'm just going to assume that he's behind me somewhere. Alright, we've escaped. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, alright. Interesting level right there. Oh no. I'm such a prick. Oh, the cactus jumps of dreams. Oh, the thing is, saying that, these aren't terrible. The only time these really mess with me is uh, when I'm on a multiplayer server because they're so... Um, oh my gosh, I might die. It's because they're so unpredictable. I'm walking on sunshine. I'm actually walking on glowstone, but, you know, it's fine. For the purposes of the song, we'll roll. Yeah, it's only on a multiplayer server that the cactus, like, pings, damage pings are so unpredictable that um, it really messes with me. On here, they're not too bad. I think I could have made that four block jump then, but I didn't want to risk it. Hazy in a dream, I know what this is going to be. I know what this is going to be, and I'm going as fast as I can before it's out of scene. Once you've done a few of these levels... You know what they're going to be. We're through Rainbow Road. Standard. Oh, okay. I should probably go a little bit slowly, try and judge where those are. So there's one there. Let's, uh, there's one here. There we go. And here. Oh, oh, damn it. There's a jump piece there. Should I try and jump on top of that? That's it. We know roughly where these things are now. So you can go a little faster. Okay. Oh, there's actually solid stuff either side. Okay, that's not... Oh, I nearly jumped over. Piece of cake. You got it. For sure. There we go. Concentrate it up. The rainbow snake. Actually, what time are we on? We're on 90 minutes. I was aiming for 20 minutes. This is actually going to be tight. We're on level 47 here. We're near, nearing completion. Is this the right way to be going? I'm just trying to go upwards. I think this is all good, actually. I think this is right. Okay. 
No, why why would I not just go to the left? Oh dear, that's that's probably cost me the sub 20 minute effort. Damn it, if I'd have actually just known how to redstone like a pro off the bat, then we would have been on a good time. See, that's the thing. If I see the time ticking down and I know I'm on kind of a time trial, that's when panic sets in. Diagonals? Oh my, I hit the side then. Um, yeah, if I'd have just kind of not looked at time then, I probably would have stayed cool and calm and done that. A nightmare in a dream? No spiders. Oh wait, are these speedy spiders? That's it. Oh, I'm through. Wait, I didn't even get that checkpoint for a second. Can you imagine if a spider came up behind me then, knocked me off? Oh, so these are like the uh, floor blocks from, I think, all of the different kinds of levels in here. Wait, this is 49. What are we on? We're just over 20 minutes. The end. Hold up. Oh, no. Jump to the end. Is it up there? Hit the button to stop. Boom! We actually got it first time. 20 minutes and 48 seconds with only 10 deaths. I'm really happy with the 10 deaths. Unfortunately, I saw a few of the chests for the sticks, but I didn't grab them. Damn, I was probably, his was like 20 minutes and like 9 seconds. I think if I re-ran that, I could definitely get around probably the 17 minute mark with maybe like 6 or 7 deaths. I'm happy that I only got 10 deaths. I think I'm definitely learning these maps a little bit, but that was a ton of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Try the map yourself. Link down below, that good stuff. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thanks and goodbye.